feel like where you want to be finally? I feel like where I want to be. You know, I feel explosive. I feel, you know, uh, well rested, and, and you know, I'm I'm just ready to, you know, be the be the best branding ram I could be, so I can help this team. You uh, concerned about the sack numbers, or is that something nah? You really because think we got 12 games left. One, 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 one a game. You know what I'm saying? You can still get 12. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's just um, I, when you don't worry about them, they come. You know, I think early on, I wanted to, I was, I was, you know, pressing a little bit to try to get them, and then you know, I wasn't me and me. You know, and now I feel like, man, don't worry about that. Just go out there and win the game, and you know, all the other stuff co uh, come because that's what I did last year. And nine and a half just so happened to be the number. Early so, on, you mean early in your career? Well, I'm just saying, period. Like you know, uh, this this year, I'm saying this okay. year, like you know. Coming off injury, I just wanted to wanted things to kind of pick up where it left off from last year. But you know that's not realistic. You know you gotta you gotta put in that work. And you know I put in the work, but you know at the end of the day I didn't get camp. Um, I coming off injury, you know I didn't want to make excuses for myself. I just but I was really pressing to try to get a sack. You know to get on the board. And you know sometimes it don't come like that because you you, you fighting you fighting yourself too hard or you pushing yourself a little too hard and not letting it come naturally. Brandon, yesterday Jim Schwartz talked about the fact that as close as you guys are to being three and one in the Tennessee game, this team could also be zero and four. Is that something that you guys try to internalize? How oh. close these have been? Oh yeah, you know we know every game matters. You know it don't matter how you win as long as you win. And you know we easily two plays away from being 0-4. Like, you know, the one Julio made, I mean, he was out of bounds. He caught it. He was out of bounds. I mean, same game as last year, um, but he could have easily got it, and we could have been, we could have lost that game, and then what's the name could have escaped the pocket uh, with the coach, and they could have made a play, and we could have been easily 0-4. You're right. How does understanding that, though, maybe heighten the sense of, of urgency or execution that this defense needs to have? Um, I think the urgency, uh, everybody's, you know, kicked it up a notch today, you know, in practice because, I mean, nobody's tight. Everybody knows what we did this past game. You know, we, we, we gave it away, you know, and they capitalized. That was a good Titans team, and we can't make mistakes or they or they going to beat us. And um, I think, um, you know, right now we, 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 we are where our, where our feet are right now, and right now we got Minnesota, and they coming in, and they, they I know they pissed from last year, and they're going to come in, you know, and try to get us, and we got to make sure we prepare. Well, Doug and Carson said the sky's not falling, and why is it the message after 2-2? Two and two? Because, um, you know, people outside of football can make it seem like the sky is falling if you buy into that. I mean, right now we know we we know what we about. We know what type of team we have. We've been through some tough tough games already, and I love the way we respond, especially through adversity when things not going our way. I mean, when you down, you got to make a play. Buccaneers game, we could easily, you know, made a play, score. I mean, you know, so many things can happen, and I just love just where where we are as a team, being two and two. And the way the attitude is, everybody still, you know, believing in. That's all I can really ask for. Brandon, you, know, you talk about Minnesota coming in a little upset after the way the NFC Championship game went. They have a new quarterback, but are you expecting their offense to come out with a little bit of a, a vengeful mindset on something? Oh yeah, you know, um, I think they're gonna come in with a, a great game plan, and we just got to make sure that we out execute them and um, make sure that we just be the best us on that day. Cause that's all that really matters.